Hey, what's going on? Jose, Way, what's really, really happening? Talk to me one more time for the bottle of wine. Back in action like Jesse Jackson. All right. Welcome back. Hello, David. Hello, Jose. How are you today? I can't hear you, David. I can see your mouth and lips are moving, but I cannot hear you. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's going on, David? Welcome. How are you? I am okay. Thank you. And you, teacher? I'm How are you? I am doing excellent. Excellent. Why? Why, teacher? Oh, because today was a good day. <laughs> you work all day. Well, I today see. I actually had an offer on a property, which I couldn't bring up the value. But today I finally got a client that this client sounds very serious. So I think tomorrow... Done deal. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and get started, ladies and gentlemen. I would like for you to uh, please tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What vocabulary, what expressions, what do you remember from yesterday's class? Hmm? Somebody? What do you remember? Vocabulary, expressions. Hmm? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> me. Okay, that's good, Monica. Like, I, I try to remember that class yesterday because I have... I, I, I'm working. Oh my God, you're working. Oh, why is yes. so late? You should be at yes, home. Yes, at 12. No, in the front. Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, let me go <laughs> ahead and ask um, Reina Acosta. Can you listen to me right now? Hey, Hello. yes, I can hear you now. Yay. Okay. Yes, Monica? Uh, the conversation for the new neighbor. That's correct. Very good. Now, for today, I would like for us to get started. And we're going to be looking at this video right here, referring to the preposition. This time, we'll learn to Listen, ask if there please. is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place, which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On 
Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, Is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying, yes there is, there is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, in. At this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? Sir, sure. excuse me. No, teacher. Hmm? I want to know if laundromat is the same laundry. That is correct. Thank you. Laundromat is a place where it's a public place where people go. And in that place, you put one quarter in the machine, and then the machine will work. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Another question? Another question? No. I don't have. Okay. Monica has a question. Hi, Monica. Hi, teacher. Uh, do you explain, explain more for the there is, there are one, any some? Yes, of course. When I say there is, when I use there is, I am referring to something singular. For example, yeah. there is one Coke in the refrigerator so this is singular plural there are there are six cokes in the refrigerator it could be beers okay now when i say some for example would you like some water? This is for non-countable. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, so if I say, for example, um, would you like some coffee, right? It's non-countable. Any is for a negative, right? No, I don't want any water. Right, so that is for a negative. Negative, any, positive, some. 
teacher. Hi. So, some mm -hmm. is, is for not countable. Some is for non countable. Some water, some coffee, some tea. And, some, okay. Some and light. Any, okay. And any, any is for is negative. Only for negative. Only, only for negative. I don't need anything. A, and for questions, any. Um, do you need any milk? Do you need anything else? Is, Do you want any more? It's for questions, too. That is correct. Both. Okay. Both. Okay. Thank you. Yes, of course. Another question. Another question. None. Does anybody have another question? No, teacher. Thank you. No, teacher. Thank awesome. Thank now, you for, video yes. of my for this activity, you're going to give me five questions using is there or are there, singular, plural, five questions and the responses like in the examples. Are you ready? I was doing this activity, but I only write one question. That's okay. Okay. You can do it. Hello, Manuel, Alejandro. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Maritza. Is there a town hall near here? Near here, but and in the castle, is there a super select post near here? Is there a super select near? Okay. Answer yes, there is. For the same, for some preventable. I think they said, oh no, or a few in example there is. El, 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 there is there are. Pregunta o oración. Using there is there are. Pueden ser eh, question and sentence. Mm -hmm. How any how any college is here is there. Yes, there is. Okay. I think. Mm, are there, there any some... store near here? Yes. There are some doors here. 
there are some. Uh -huh, some views. Hay algunas palabras aquí. Se puede usar el ah, son con si no es pregunta, sino que es afirmación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There are some. Sí. There is. Are there. Um, are there. Are there. <laughs> Repeat, please. Uh, there are some. There are some bills. Bills here. Here. Some. Car wash. Around here. Around here. Uh huh. Car wash. Are there some car wash around here? Pero eh, entonces pregunta. Sí. Uh -huh. Solo una he hecho con solo una, eh, una, ajá, una afirmación. Is, is there, no, they are. Podríamos poner. No, they are. are. They are. Oh. Is there a is there is there a university near here? Is there a, a university? Is yeah. Is there a uh -huh, near here? Where do we live? Um, In the order. Oh. 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 Sí, bueno, de hecho a esa fui. Este, mm. Es la que sentía más cerca. Mm. Sí. Ok. Chico. Falta uno. Oh, ¿dónde está eso? A ver. Are there a. Ah, esto. Eh, a, a ver aquí. Are there a. Pero no sé cómo decir pupuserías en inglés. Pupusería, no, sí, pupusería. Pupusería, pupusería. Sí. That's right. Taquería, sí. taquería. Ah, ok. The same thing. Hamburger. No, 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 no traducción. No, no translation. No. Ok. Entonces, are there a few pupuserías? Estamos oyendo. <laughs> Solo eso teníamos que hacer, ¿verdad? All right, awesome. Let me have one volunteer. I want to hear your examples. One volunteer. I want to hear your examples. Josue, let me hear your examples. Um, are there two cats on the sofa? 
Are there a coffee table near from you? Is there a spider in the bus? Are there many people at the bus stop? Are there many students in the English class? Excellent. Perfect. Go ahead, Josue. Select somebody. Applause for Josue, ladies and gentlemen. That was incredible. Good job. Jenny Melendez. Jenny Melendez. Say Jenny I. Melendez. Jenny Melendez. Let's go, Jenny Melendez. Okay, I think Jenny Melendez has problems. Select somebody else. Jasmine Munoz. Jasmine Munoz. Can you continue? Jasmine Munoz. Can you continue? Or, or Mary, Mary Jose. All right, Maria Jose. <laughs> Vamos de una en una en una en una. Nadie quiere participar. Okay. Okay, Maria Jose. Is there a car on the road? There is a pen on the table. There is some milk in the refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Are there are there apples in the books? And is there a TV in the room? Perfect. Perfect. Applause for the participant. Thank you. Good job. Now, for the following activity, I would like for us to go ahead and look at the next section. In this section, you're going to do the knowledge check. Take a look at the map, read the questions, and choose the right place according to the directions given. For example, number one, is there a mm near here? Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Hotel. Hotel. Do you have any questions? Teacher. Hi, Josue. Hotel. We can say hotel and hotel. Uh, no. Hotel, no. No. Hotel, no. Hotel. 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 Okay. Hotel. Hotel. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hotel. Okay, thank you. Yes. Good question, Houseway. Thank you. Does anybody else have another question that you would like for me to help you with? Another question. No teacher. No teacher. Thank you. Okay. Now. Hi. Why the Why the song Hotel California? Welcome to Hotel <laughs> California. Why Hotel California? Um. <laughs> it's a crazy. The song. It's a crazy story. Uh, he says that he was in a hotel because. Uh, before he was a poor man. And in the beginning, his expectation was, you know, Hollywood, hotels in Hollywood, luxury, uh, very expensive. But he wasn't a rich man. He was poor. So he's sitting in, in the hotel. Welcome to Hotel California. <laughs> so he's he's like, oh my god, you know, I can't believe this, you know. Yes. Yeah, that's the story. Yes. Okay, let's go. Ready, action. What a nice surprise! What a nice surprise in your lonely eyes. Mm -hmm.
eh, es, es, estamos en la sección eh, de, 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 del uso de los verbos eh, next to de, los, de las cantidades. Ajá. En, de, en el video te especifican, hay una lavandería next to eh, de, de cell phone is across to the place. I, I don't remember what is the number on the, on the section. Okay. Ese es el 3.4. So, ah, ok. So, we have in, in this section, in this part of the section. But I, I can help the teacher uh, what is the, uh, the activity uh, we have to do. Ok. So, I think uh, we are lost. Hi, Edwin, or Enrique. Hi, David. Uh, do you know uh, what we have to do? Yes. You are going to look at section number 3.4, Knowledge Check. Okay. In this section, you are going to look at this map. Look at the map. Okay and you are going to answer the sentence. Is there a hotel near here? Oh, okay. Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Let's check. Okay, I got it, teacher, thank you. Maple, yeah, Maple Avenue and Pine Street and King Plaza Hotel, correct. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So the answer is hotel. Number one is hotel. Any questions? No, teacher. No, not teacher. Okay, go ahead. You may continue. Thank you, teacher. Yes, of course. You you finish it that work as a group work as a group work oh. together work together okay entonces vaya so, entonces okay. una una cada uno no sé <laughs> yes uh, so can anyone share his his screen okay mm. I start and is there a hotel near 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 here? Yes, there's one. It is on the corner of Ellen Street and Maple Avenue. Maple. Okay, okay. Maple. Mm -hmm. But we need see the we need see the map or answer the question. That is correct. You need to look at your platform. Yes, uh, I don't know if David or Edwin can mm. uh, share his, his screen. Can somebody oh. share the screen, please? Oh, let me see. Yes. Okay, can... Do you see? Yes, you see? I can see some uh, of the of the questions. Okay, number number two, is there uh, the work around here? And the answer is yes. There is one in the next of Price Grocery Store. So, can you show me the map? So. the place uh, next to grocery store? Edwin, 
La número tres. Yes. Is there a department store near here? Yes, there is. There is one on Main Street behind Parker Drug Store. Okay. Uh, number four. Mm, number four. Is there a gas station on P Pine Avenue? No, there isn't. But there is one on First Avenue in Main Street. Number six. Next. Enrique. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, yes, uh, can you show me, please? David? Hi. Okay, okay, I can see. Uh, the number six. six, okay. Is there a key oh. near here? Yes, there is. It's between the post office and Oday or or this department uh, department store, I think. Is correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Number, number seven. Number, number seven, Edwin. Is there a electronic store on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from shopping center. Okay, number eight. Um, is there, is there? Uh, doesn't, uh... Oh, hear, hear that, hear, hear that Griselda. Hi Griselda. Hi guys. I'm sorry, I problem with internet. Uh, number nine. Hey, uh, you don't have to participate. I don't know if we can use them. Hello, number, number nine. Eight. Yes. Number Is there eight. a public library near here? Yes, there one next to a gas station. Number ten. Are there any restaurants? Or Fifth Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some of Maple Street. Yes, okay. That's okay. Number nine. Number eight. Is there? Number eight. Number eight. Is there a place found around here? Yes, there is. There is. On, on the core of Main Street and First Avenue. Okay. okay. Now, uh, I can read again, or oh, we can read again. Mm. Oh. Okay, I number have... one. Okay. Okay. Is there is there a hotel uh, uh, show just okay let me see uh, I gonna number one okay is there a hotel near here yes there is one is it is on the corner of the on street and Maple Avenue. Um, Avery, number two. Number two, is there a bank around here? Yes, there one. there's one. It is next to Prince's grocery store. Gisela, number three. Is there a department store here? Yes, there is. There one of oh, the main street being part truck store. Okay, number four. Uh, and, Enrique. Is there gas? No, David. David. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, number number four. Is there a gas station on Pine Avenue? 
No, there isn't. But there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. Number five. Um, okay, it's my turn. Uh, are there are there groceries, uh, grocery stores on Main Street? No, they aren't. Uh, there are some nice uh, stores on uh, Pine Street. Pine Street. Num number six. Is there a, a gym near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and Okay, let me have the first volunteer. Hey, teacher. Who? Josue. Josue. All right, Josue. Uh, what is your answer for number one? Hotel. Hotel. All right, yeah, number okay. two, Jenny. Jenny, mm. number two. There, is there a um, bank around here? Yes, there is one. Is this next to price grocery store? Excellent. Monica, number three. Monica, number three, Monica. Excuse me. <laughs> is there a uh, department? Yes, there is. There's one on Main Street behind Parker's drugstore. Excellent. Reina, number four. Hello. Hi, number four. Um, is there a bus station on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't. But there is one on Pierce Avenue and Main Street. Perfect. Thank you. Jenny Melendez, number five. Number five is are there grocery store on May Street? No, there is a rain. Uh, there are some nice stores on Penny Street. Perfect. Maritza, number five. Okay, Kayla, number five. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Excellent. Grocery stores. Number six, Roberto. Is there a gym near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and all days department store. Good. Jasmine, number seven. Is there an electronic store on 2nd Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on 5th Avenue across from shopping center. Perfect. The next one is Maria Jose. Is there a Payphone around here? Yes, there is. There is one the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Perfect. Number nine, please, Dalia Santos. Is there a public library near here? 
Yes, there's one next to a gas station. Excellent. Number 10, Graciela. Number 10, Evis. Are there any restaurants on First Avenue? No, they there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. All right. Does anybody have any questions related yeah. to this vocabulary or related to any of this information? Yes, teacher. Yes. Jose. Hi, Jose. Yes. I don't know when I go to use the cross from and in front of. Very good question. You are going to use across from when there is movement in between the two things. For example, across the river, right? To get to the United States, you have to cross the Rio Grande. Okay. But what? that's why you say cross the street because you have traffic. But in front of it, you don't need anything moving or anything, only just on the other side. Good question, okay. Josue. Good question. Another question from this section. Hello, Monica. What is your question? Uh, why is the pay, pay phone uh, not public phone? Um, you can say it both ways, pay phone or public phone. Um, both are acceptable. Some people say pay phone. Some people say public phone. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's two different ways to express okay. the same idea. Mm -hmm. Good question, Monica. Oh, okay, thank you. Excellent question, thank Monica. You. Thank you. Does anybody have another question in this section? I don't have. Me? Me? Hi, Evis. Um, I have a question. I don't understand. Um, I yes. found some examples okay. in internet, and I and I got so or watch. Okay. So, so question is: Is there? I start with is there? Mm -hmm. And some question I start with there is. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is the difference. Oh, okay. Uh, the difference is that if I say, is there, it's a question. For example, is there a gym near your house? That is a question. The response, there is a gym <laughs> near my house. There is a school near my house. So there is, is the affirmative response. Okay, thanks. Yes. Another question. No, teacher. Okay. Now, for the next activity, what I would like for us to do is look at the next section. Are you ready? Okay. Yes, teacher. In this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood, taking into account questions like how many and how much. And downtown. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. 
How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Does anybody have any questions related to the pronunciation of the dialogue or the meaning of any of the words? No. Jose, thank you. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hi, Edwin. Una pregunta. Una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, yes, what is your question? La diferencia del uso del how many or... Well, what in how much? Very good question. Okay, so when you're going to use how many, you are going to use countable nouns. For example, how many students are in class? How many students are in class? One student, two student, three student, four student, five students, 20 students. So it is countable. How much is uncountable? For example, how much water do you drink water is uncountable how much coffee do you drink uncountable do you understand edwin yes understand all right now yes David Ernesto. Teacher. Hi. Yo vi, yo vi un video donde decía que los contables eran los que terminaban en S. Eso, eso es correcto, teacher. No, no. No necesariamente. Sí, los contables llevan S para ser plural. Yes. But, but not necessarily porque hay plurales que no llevan s por ejemplo la palabra camarones shrimp shrimp se escribe plural y singular fish fish se escribe lo mismo singular y plural mm -hmm. another question teacher i have a question about the Uh, understand and got it. Ah, it under, I understand. Is it the same? Yes, but, but I understand is more formal. I got it is more informal. Okay. Mm hmm. And the meaning the is the same. Yes, I understand. It's the same meaning. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
good Thank question. You, good question, Josue. Now, guys, what we're going to do is move forward and we're going to look at the next activity. In this activity, you are going to write questions with how much and how many in the discussion forum. You are going to write five questions in pairs. Are you ready? Yes, five are. questions using how much and how many. Cinco preguntas usando how much y how many. Enrique Andres. Five sentences, how many? And five sentences, how much? Yes or no? Okay. Oh, per, oh, I asked you, Griselda, okay, how many cars do you have? Sorry, I don't listen. How, how many cars do you have? Do, do you understand? Hi. Do you have any, how um, many cars do you have? Um, ¿Cuántos carros tiene? Eso pregunto, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, ese pienso que es algo contable, como dijo. How many cars? Sí. Yes. Many is for countable. And mm -hmm. mod is for not countable. Correct. Yes. Well, so how many cars do you have, Evan? Um, uh, I, ha I, mm -hmm. I have I have two two cars on, only. Well, you, Griselda, how many cars do you have? I only car. Okay. Okay, now you ask. And you, baby? <laughs> how many cars? I don't <laughs> have a car. <laughs> I don't have two okay. cars. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right now, ask, ask me a question, Griselda. How much, um, how much, um, how many apples, how many apples? Hi. Can you repeat, please? She said, How many apples in your home? Apple. What does it mean, apple? Oh. Apple, you eat the fruit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can, can you repeat, please? Or oh, one more. How one more. many apples in your home? Oh, 
here um there aren't apples <laughs> you have been... mm, i have three three apples <laughs> in my refrigerator <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um Edwin, you ask 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 you mm -hmm. question or oh, ask me or oh. how how many how how much how much uh, drink water in in the day oh um um i drink a lot a lot of water no sé cuánto pero <laughs> <laughs> is everybody finished yes of course yes yes okay, okay. now we're going to go ahead and look at the forward one in this session we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers so these are quantifiers We will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay, guys. Please continue working on the platform. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. 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 Good night. Thank you. Good night.